So, this is a 2009 15-inch MacBook Pro that I picked up for free on Marketplace. And in this video, I'll install a brand spanking new and modern Linux distro on it, Ubuntu. I hope you enjoy. In my last video, I ran Fedora on a live session on this Mac, and I was quite amazed that it could stream YouTube even in 1440p. That's why I wanted to see just how much this 16-year-old computer can handle. Inside, it has a Core 2 Duo processor and 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM at 1066MHz. The 15.4-inch display has a resolution of 1440x900, and it looks just great, even in 2025. A big feature of this older model, however, is the wide selection of ports. Anyway, before we install Ubuntu, I need to install an SSD so that we actually have something to install too. So let's open it up. Yeah, as you can see, this is pretty bare bones. The CD drive is missing, as is the battery, and of course it has no hard drive. Luckily, installing SATA SSDs is really easy on these Unibody Macs. So let's put in this cheap SSD that I salvaged from an old Lenovo. There, that's really it. So let's close it up and move to the installation. On this USB I have the Ubuntu ISO. Making such a bootable drive is really easy. You just go to the website and download the ISO. Then, using software like Belena Etcher or Rufus, you flash the ISO to the USB. So I select the ISO file, then the USB, and hit flash. About 5 minutes later and it's done. Ok, let's make sure that we plug in power, as we don't have a battery, and the ethernet cable. Ok, I boot holding the option key, and hopefully it just recognizes the USB. There's the chime, nice, and there it is. I select EFI boot, try or install Ubuntu. Oh, we got a logo. Wow, okay, this is pretty slow, but that's probably due to the fact that this MacBook only has USB 2, not 3. And we're in. Preparing Ubuntu, cool. Let's set it up. Language, English, keyboard layout, Danish, connect to the internet, use Wired. It's really a luxury that we have that. An update is available. Skip. What do you want to do? Well, install. Interactive installation, uh, apps, no, default is fine. Oh, this is important. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi, and support for additional software. Hopefully that means the Wi-Fi will work out of the box. How do you want to install? Erase disk, name, foci, computer name, foci, username, foci. Now can you guess my password? Yep, we are in Copenhagen, install, alright, I'll be back in a moment. Ok, it's done, restart now, remove medium and press enter, ok. There's the chime, and now the logo, and we are in. Welcome, thanks. Ubuntu Pro? No thanks. No, I don't want to share data, sorry. Ok, the caps lock is reversed. That is, when the caps lock key is lit up, it's not, well, in caps. That's weird. Anyway, let's go into settings. Display, that looks right. Audio works as well, that's good. Multitasking, hot corner. Yep, that works. Active screen edges, not so much. Ok, what is going on? Let's see if a software update will fix it. Ok, yeah, so that didn't seem to work. Drivers maybe? No additional drivers available. Oh well, let's go to settings again. Appearance? Ok, there's a dark mode. Nah, let's stick with the default. sudo apt install neofetch. Neofetch. So, it has recognized the right hardware. I'm not sure why the keyboard then is being weird. Ok, now I want to install and try only Office, which is really just a copy of the Microsoft Office suite, as I think writing documents would be a good use case for this Mac. Wrong password. What? Caps lock isn't on. 
Oh, right, it's reversed. So it's a little slow, though it's totally fine when you get it up and running. Okay, time to go on the internet. Firefox, Wikipedia, Chimpanzee. Absolutely no problem. YouTube? I'm excited about this, because in the live Fedora session, YouTube streaming was really good. Foci? Let's try 1080p. Oh, and I've never used Fedora, by the way. Thank you again, Normo, for making this for me. It includes and a handful Smooth of... Smooth sailing indeed. 1440p? They're pretty boring. I miss the liquid wallpaper from Clashy OS. Let's stick with the default. Why also smooth. That? That's crazy. 4K, do I dare? Oh, there's also nightlight. Neat. Power? Performance. Why not enable okay, power? it's a bit laggy, but that's still quite amazing for a 15-year-old computer, right? All right, let's test the audio properly. Crab rave. It's crazy to think that these speakers are 15 years old and still better than most laptops. You can say a lot about Apple, but this MacBook is a powerhouse. All right, that's where I'll leave it for now. I think it's really impressive just how much you can get out of a MacBook that's 15 years old. Also to think that this laptop was released a year before the HP Mini, which I can't even get to stream YouTube in 360p. Installing Ubuntu was also easy. That said, there were some quirks, most notably the keyboard that did the caps lock thing, but it was still usable. Likewise, the active screen edges also bugged out. Still, considering that I've played around with this MacBook for just a few hours and it being able to run a modern Linux distro and actually doing tasks that are part of my everyday routine is kinda crazy. At least I think so. I'm very excited to see what else we can do with this system in the future. If you have any ideas or perhaps lighter distros that you'd recommend, please share them in the comments. I do read every single comment and try to get back to as many of you as possible. If, however, you want to get in touch with me, consider joining our Discord. There you can share video ideas, feedback and any and all questions to me. Of course, it's also a space where you can chat with fellow members of a small growing community. Oh, and we also have a Linux hotline chat, where some of our very knowledgeable members might just be able to help you out. Thanks a lot to those of you who already joined. I think we have a really cozy vibe. I like it very much. I know the server is still a bit rough around the edges, but I'm working on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.